TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we might won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget, if you miss a live or you want to catch an upcoming live, just go to twitch.com. Type this in right here. Oh, you can't even see where I'm pointing. Just say it right there, the lit one. Type it in with the underscores. Don't forget, we do got Patreon. We post five days a week, and we post anything that we thought could go on YouTube, but it can't, or that we watch on here on Twitch. We post it on Patreon as well. This, there's a lot of content. Um, And we got merch. The link to all of that is down in the description below. Let's get into it. Can't pay, we'll take it away. Season 4, episode 13. <laughs> Nearly two-thirds of small business owners say they get hit with unexpected costs during their first year of operation. Last year, 270,000 businesses faced financial challenges. A key reason was the number of costly county court judgments filed against them. Hold on. The first quarter of 2016 saw nearly 250 county court judgments issued against businesses every day. Stuart McCracken and Elmore Victor are High Court enforcement agents. They travel hundreds of miles each week, collecting debt. 360p is crazy. Debts and seizing goods. Today, they're in Nottingham to collect almost £8,000 owed by a car dealership, MMC, to a customer dissatisfied with a car they were sold. You've got pretty good luck with car dealerships. Yes, we always end up either getting them paid in full or having to remove. And it says it's here on the right. Oh, under new management. Pretty tight. A huge sign on the outside that say under new new management. So you know they was gearing up for collectors to slide. It's the cars on. though. Nice little dealership. Oh, nice. The agent's high court powers mean that if they don't receive payment today, they can remove the company's vehicle stock to cover the debt. All right, all right. Did you they say how much it was? The, the debt? On or about? Uh, we're looking for MMC. Exactly, yeah, who, who is the owner? I'm asking you, sir. Is the owner about, or is that yourself? No, I'm not. No? Okay. He's delightfully helpful. After sales service. That's the owner. Who are you after? I said that we're after MMC. And the new manager we have, Paul. Mm. The dealership may be under new management, but as it's MMC named on the writ, Stuart and Vic must try and resolve the case today. All right. Yeah, we're High Court Enforcement Agents, so we've been sent to collect an outstanding balance for a company called MMC, which is the building that we're in at the moment. MMC, not MMC. It's gone after me. We took over, like I said, the new management. Right. When did you take over? Uh, June. June. Right, OK. Have you got any... Uh, sorry, who are you, sir? Uh, the proprietor. Right, uh, okay. And your name is, sir? Thomas Jones. Thomas Jones, right, okay. I've had previously in here before. I've given right. the same information mm -hmm. and they've left it as that. Mm. Yeah, but that's a high code writ. Not mm. to do it's, it's last company that was here yeah. beforehand. Okay, but it's against the company name. Not this company. I've not been there when that car has gone through it. Right. The writ is in the name of just MMC. So well, I'm going to do something. No, they've made a mistake on it. It's, well, it's, it's not. not. It was so, MMC, not MMC. As I said, so. Where, where the confusion's got, but it's no to do with me. Mr. Jones claims he took over the dealership eight months ago in June. He says took the over, business used took over the dealership and all of that. It still got MMC on the on the on the on the on the on the sign to be called MMC Nottingham, and that it was that company that sold the car, which led to the dispute with oh, the so claimant. MMC Motors now. But without proof that it was MMC Nottingham and not MMC, Stewart must enforce the writ. This writ that we've got here is MMC. Yeah. Okay. MMC, MMC, MMC oh, on the roof. MMC. Okay. Okay. And it says here you are now to seize in, in, in the execution of goods and chattels. Okay. The best thing about a car dealership is it's usually many assets, vehicles that are free of finance, that are sat on the forecourt. So we've got a great pressure point. 
because the last thing that they want is for us to turn up with a recovery vehicle and start removing vehicles. You can't. But push come to serve. I'm giving take up my, my car. cars when I don't owe the debt. It is in the name you see. I'm forced to the name you see. So what you're saying is, just because I've got a similar name, you can come and just take my it's car. It's not a similar name. It's exactly the same name. <laughs> Suddenly, Mr. Jones's colleague William arrives. He also sells cars on the lot. Legally, obviously, it's, it's got MMC in the sign. I can see where you're coming from. But you need to understand, sir, this writ isn't against somebody personal, it's against MMC. He's not MMC. liable for anything MMC ever did before. So what, he's Thomas MMC Jones. He's is an active for company. Thomas Jones. I think if you actually ring your office and find out the name on, on the account, you'll find that it's nothing to do with that, sir. It's in if the name of the high court. If you actually see the invoice, because they'll have the invoice in the paper, it'll be MMC. Waste your time. At the moment, at the moment, at the moment, okay. I'm not interested. Yeah, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. You're not interested right? so why should I listen to you? Exactly right. <laughs> I love when people come in here with that type of energy. Like, why would I listen to you? Because we about to take cars off this lot at the end of the day. That's why you should listen to me. So if you want to get it resolved, or if you don't want to get it resolved and not listen to me, I'm going to snap. I'm going to do what I got to do. You feel me? William is adamant that the car which led to the dispute was bought from the previous owners of the dealership and you. prior to Mr. Jones taking over eight months ago mm. in June. But the agents still haven't seen any proof. What else have you got? I'm going to get my business rates and uh, obviously my can't start And that's in your name? Same thing. In yeah. my name. Go get that. At the same time. Yeah. I'll go to Mansfield Academy. That's all that. I'll, I'll make that. He's got to go 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I understand you're not allowed to believe anyone. But what? you know when we've just moved in, you yeah. see on the new management, it's a bit of a... Yeah. Now, it's not nice. No one cares if it says new management. Do you understand that everything is a finesse? This is like in 2016. Like, finessing was just at its... Like, finessing was on the come up. And let's just change the name on the sign. Maybe they'll go away. Like, no, you're not... No, that, that, that's not good enough. Bruce, is it? Vic calls the office to see if the claim that the car was bought before Mr. Jones took over is true. He reckons the car was sold before June. We've got any information from the claimant. So if it was done before June, then uh, you know we know a bit more. Cheers, bye. Hello. Moments Hello. later, the office called back. Right. October. All right. You were with me. Thank you. It seems that the car was sold to the claimant four months after the dealership was taken over by Mr. Mm, so you lied. See, see now, now you're being an a-hole, and you lied. Jones, but William still wants to stop the enforcement action. I know you said. Yeah. Wait, I get, I get okay. where you're coming from. So the car was bought in October. Yeah. The problem which you got is the business took over in June. Okay. It doesn't matter to that's you. That's fine. Guys. I'll ring. I'll, I'll be ringing transport. That's fine. That's all we need to know. Yeah, I would have been done talking. I feel you, Stuart. After that point, like now you didn't. You, you, you're lying now. To my face is crazy. The agents believe that they have finally got to the truth. They now have enough proof that the current owners are responsible for the debt. They can start to seize assets. This is a favour. Is it okay if you take that, the Jaguar? We'll, 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 we'll tell you whatever we think is of value. So that's what we're doing now. 14 grand. Yeah, that'll do. I've got a good feeling that this will probably cover it. I mean, the window price is relevant. You get about maybe eight grand for this at auction. So that'll cover the debt. Inside the office, Mr. Jones is con- He said, can you take the Jaguar? Jaguars are notoriously known for having issues. I don't know what issue exactly, but that one specifically, I feel like it got some issues with it though. They trying to tell him take that one. No, no. League William is still arguing with Vic. You're not this listening is, to me. Yeah, this you're, is stealing. You're not listening no, when to I me. Do, when we prove our point then, mate, this is theft. Yeah. yeah. In fact, do we get... I think I'm getting the police. That's theft. Bring the police. Please do. Right. Do what you have to do, mate. Get the keypad. Get all the stuff. Get them off. Yeah. Vic, stop grabbing keys. Get them off. Move them. That, oh. you, know, you know what that is, don't you? What? Moving your cars. Oh, sign a guilt? No, no, mate. No, I didn't say anything. Are yeah, you going to move the cars? That's what you're saying. Go on. If you, if you want to be awkward with us, I'll be awkward with you. I'm, I'm not awkward. Say that, you're not I'm not awkward. The firm's assets start to disappear from the forecourt. Quickly, Stu Well, it's already been possessed. You put the lock on the, on the wheel. Stuart takes steps to ensure the high-performance Nissan he has seized can't go anywhere. 
Get my best friend out the clump. <sighs> he got the car they want already. But William is also heading for the Nissan. Stuart has assault. It's just seconds to get the clamp in place. That's interesting. That's my personal car. Yeah. That's my personal car. Yeah. Well, you've done criminal damage now, sir. Yeah. It's been seized, sir. This simple debt collection is getting. See, now this is the negativity that I be wanting. Last episode, there was not a lot of negativity, but here it is. They were saving up. Out for of it. control. Will Stuart and Vic be able to get the payment they came for or secure enough assets before they all disappear? No. It's the clamped. The worrying thing is, my arm could be been under that wheel. I would have double clamped. Is the owner about? No, no we don't need a review. Dispute. I'll, I'll be right. This is that. Took matters into his own hands. That's my personal car. Yeah. That's my personal car. Yeah. Well, you've done criminal damage now, sir. It's been seized, sir. Now, with tempers rising, Stuart calls the police. We're talking about this is his personal the car. The police are on their way. It's outrageous. Never had that happen before. Um, uh, but at the end of the day, it's completely out of order. He knew the clamp was on it because the car stopped, yet he still revved to try and break the clamp. So he knew exactly the clamp was on it. So at the end of the day, it's criminal damage at the very least. Is somebody going While to jail? While they wait for the police to arrive, cars continue to disappear from the forecourt. He's only moving that one because we sold it. The rest of them you can take. Yeah, they're all disappearing now, aren't they? No, for, that's it. Yeah, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. When we see assets being removed from under our nose, it makes us think we're getting pretty close here to... Well, y'all got it. Y'all got it anyway. Y'all got $8,000 worth of car clamped. It's up. We good. <laughs> to get a payment, we're touching a nerve. And they don't like it. You from right there? No. Good. What do you mean good? Good. Horrible person. Horrible person. Say, can you please just take one vehicle? It saves a lot of cuff up for you. You'll get your money. You're still speaking to me, You'll sir. Get your money. You're still and that was all it was. That was all I was trying to be. But it actually was like, I've got to transport. I'm off. I'm off. Because that's what we do, sir. That's what we do. You keep being funny with me, mate. I'm not being funny at all, sir. You just tried to create criminal damage, sir. I didn't actually realise you're I'm not interested. I apologise about that. And I would never have done that. I swear on my life, I've never done that. I didn't see. I seen you. I thought you were taking pictures. I seen you taking pictures of that. With the yellow clamp in my hand. I did not see it, mate. I was in a rush. I did not see it. No. Apologise. Of course you're in a rush, sir, because we're about to remove a vehicle. It's my car. It's my car. It's got my personal CD in it. I'm not driving home. You can take my car for tonight, I'm not really bothered. But okay, good. You know, I only live around the corner, I can good. walk home tonight. But good, that's all right. Take my car to auction. Fucking hell, mate, how would you feel? The problem with this job is you've got to know what to do and what to push. And obviously, everyone's got a breaking point, and it's going through the rigmarole. They're really fun to take the car, right? The breaking huh? point is, and his breaking point was us putting the notices on the cars and putting a clamp on a car. We do this to try and make them clear to them that we're not here to mess about, we're here to collect payments. It's, it's a tactic, that. it's a tactic. If you don't make payments, your goods are going to get taken. No types of Minutes types. later, the police arrive. Hello there, officers. We've seized this vehicle with regards to payments on a high court writ. And uh, as I've put the clamp on, he's tried to drive off. He snapped my clamp and then and that's where the clamp was as he's tried to drive over. Where's he now? He's in the office at the moment, gentleman with a beard. They've got a criminal damage, which uh, is the main thing we have to deal with. Well, there's two ways we can do that. We can initiate a full criminal investigation against you, or you can sign a form and pay them 25 quid, and it's done. So, which is it going to be? Yeah, so, okay, 25 quid. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. Pay me 25 hours for my little, my little, my little uh, clamp. As the police leave, Mr. Jones finally returns to the office with his paperwork. Frank, up on the way, they sent me. Sending out an email to me just to show when I was uh, sort of occupying from Mr. T. J. First of the six. But since it's happened, he's, we spoke to our office, we spoke to the claimant. Okay. The car was sold in October. Okay. Do you understand how it looks now that? Yeah. Having been caught out, Mr. Jones needs to make a payment now, or the car will be removed. We are here for the full balance, but you know we're trying to yeah, work with you. Yeah, we ain't got eight thousand. You know I mean, yeah. eight thousand is a lot of money on one day to pay. The agents yeah, have now the been on the premises for almost two hours to break the stale. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I got a full inventory of cars. They're all mine. 
it's on me. Just take the car and let me be done with it. Because y'all not coming out of my my pocket. Like, I don't have it. I'm not going to make a payment. Just take this car. I can get it off for 14 But I'm losing, what, I'm losing $6,000 potentially. But how popular were Nissan 350Zs in 2016 in the UK? Mate. Vic they offers Mr. Popular. Jones a lifeline. I'm, I'm going to suggest 4,000. Yeah. Balance clear in 30 days. Yeah. yeah, It's up to the claimant if they're going to accept it or not. With a deal suggested, Stuart phones the office for approval. Hi, Ed. Uh, we're on this MMC case. Um, uh, they've offered 50% now and then 50% in 30 days. If we do take the car, mate, it's going to be a nightmare with regards to taking it and then storing it. I'd rather just have the cash. Yeah, well, I'll put it down as 14 days. Yeah, okay, no problem. Cheers, ads. Yeah, the, the client's happy with that, but it needs to be clear in 14 days. To make sure Mr. Jones sticks to his word, the seized Nissan will be put on a control goods agreement, giving him two weeks to pay the balance or argue his case in the court. If he fails to do either, the agents will be back. Right, see you later. So it's under control goods. That means it's basically theirs until everything is figured out. And if he try to sell it or go somewhere, you gonna go to jail for thief theft. Leave it as that. Uh, All right, just make sure you get it sorted. I'll try it. I'll try it. It's exciting one that one, Vic. One. Yeah. At that point, they might as well leave the clamp, right? He said the clamp clap or whatever. According to a recent survey. One in eight couples over the age of 40 are hiding an average of £8,000 in debt from their partner. Almost a quarter of married couples admit their other half would be alarmed if they knew the true state of their finances. It's six o'clock in the morning. High Court Enforcement Agents Brian O'Shaughnessy and Delroy Anglin are on the early morning ferry to the Isle of Wight to collect a debt of £3,700. Okay. Delroy, what have we got now, pal? We're going to see a Mr... Looks like. You need glasses, don't you? I need a bit of light, mate. Darren Baker. The defendant, Darren Baker, owes the money for unpaid estate agency fees. Oh, no, same car it is. Right. Why not, Nothing wrong with my eyes, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. There's nothing wrong with your eyes, eh? <laughs> nice view, Dale. Yeah. If Mr. Baker Ooh, nice can't view. or won't pay... You know what this reminds me of? It looks like San Francisco. You know? In the UK. Yeah. All these hills, the same kind of houses. If Mr. Baker can't or won't pay today, the agents will have to remove goods to offset the debt. Well, not exactly the same kind of houses. Well, I missed them. No, they're just in bed, mate. There we go. Hello. Good morning. My name's Brian O'Shaughnessy. You're from the High Court. I'm looking for Mr. Darren Baker. Yeah. yeah. Darren Baker? Have you got a light? Do you put a light on? Darren Baker. Yes. Does he live here? No, but... Uh, Darren, does Darren Baker live here, madam? Yeah. He Why? does? OK. Is, is he here? Not here today. He's not here today? Yeah, but they're all here. Pardon me? My name is Brian. I'm here with a high court writ. I need to speak to Darren. Can you get him on the telephone, please? Anyone else here? Living here? No, just me and my husband. Is this Darren your husband? Yes. Fantastic, okay. <clears throat> but he didn't do anything wrong. No, 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 no. Just a second. No problem, no problem. Take your time. Show the phone. Mr. Baker's wife, Nessie, calls her husband at work. Okay, he won't talk to you. Yeah, so I come up. Who is Mr. Yeah, Baker? To you. Now, we're High Court Enforcement Agents. We're here at your property this morning with a high court writ. No, sir. No, I don't need your permission. We're in your property. If you don't want to pay it, sir, really, um, we know nothing about it. That's fine. We just remove goods from your house to cover the debt. So it's clearly up to you. I'd rather resolve in a different way with you, 
But if you're making your intention, but if you're making your intentions known now that um, you're not intending to pay, then we'll have to remove goods from the house. Any chance of you coming home to resolve it, or do you want to pay it over the phone? Your cards that way. Do you want? Uh, do, 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 well, the, do you want to pay it, sir? <laughs> or not? Well, sir, what you do is you see, you get permission from your boss, your supervisor. You walk to the other end of the building and you get your card. <laughs> You can't. What else? What are you doing? Don't worry, we carry on. All That's right. fine. I think the wife's just defending him. Just go through the motion. Yeah, no, nah, wife is defending him. Like she doing what she's supposed to do, but she a little wild, ain't she? And we'll crack on. Um, it's totally up to them. It's in their hands now how, how it's resolved. Um, That's fine. Uh, no bro, problem. Peter. Okay. Thank you. He didn't do anything wrong. Why should you do Okay. Well, is that right? The agents have the right to stay in the house until the case is resolved. Leave me alone. Outside. Get your hands off me. But Nessie has other ideas. I said, oh. Yeah, well, I ain't moving. Please don't do that. Don't do that. He says outside. You said outside. I said the pub. Yeah? If you, you do that again, you know what? You're going to get arrested. So you carry on, you'll get arrested. Please don't do that. I'm not moving. We call the police, yeah? I'll call the police. I don't want to be attacked. Yeah, just call the police, man. Like when they get to being women and you in the house and you know what I'm saying, you gotta take it like, you gotta try to take it with a grain of salt. Like she could honestly be re actually scared at some point, and even if she wasn't at one point, she is, she is now. So the best thing to do, stay in the house, do your job, whatever. But call the police. I, mean, I ain't even gonna deal with that type of energy again. That's the second time you've attacked me. Don't let there be a third. I didn't that that. I yes, said, you did. Leave. I'm not leaving. How are you going to push me out? Because you are too busty and aggressive. Oh, I'm too busty and aggressive. Please, please. Debtors or people that live in their properties, when, when faced with us in their property, are scared. And they feel that they can ask anybody to leave because it's their property. But when we've entered peacefully and lawfully, no, that's not happening. We shall remain and complete the job. Emergency. While Brian calls the police. I'm here with a high court writ from Mr. Darren Baker. Can you shouldn't Brian do be calling the police real quick. <laughs> He'd be 999. Police here for a breach of the peace, please. Yeah, no problem at all. Dell tries to reason with Nessie. He didn't do anything wrong. Is that right? How do you yes. know? How do you know? He's the most honest person in the world. We're gonna fight. Yeah, but who are you gonna fight? He can prove. Yeah, but who so he can prove what? He owes this money. No. He said he owes this money. No, he paid. He hasn't paid. The agents have been at the house for 20 minutes, but there's still no sign of Mr. Baker. You need to get your husband back on the phone. Okay, I'll phone him again. Go and find him and tell him he's got to pay this money. No, I need to be able to leave if I feel threatened. I'll never do that again. You're not going to do that again? You promise? Yes, I Okay. She's saying she like a pretty good, innocent lady, like... But you know, of course she a little, she got a little turned up for her man. Who won? If my girl don't turn up for me just a little bit, like put up a little bit of a fight, you know what I'm saying? But then let it go. <laughs> Minutes later, Mr. Baker calls his wife back. Is he coming? How long? Okay, he's making his way home. Yeah, yeah, no, no worries, that's good. I'm glad. It saves you having to deal with it. Is anybody else in the house? No, just a cat. Just a cat. She got a full blown camera. She's trying to get y'all in 1080p. Okay, good. Hello. The police arrive to deal with the breach of the peace. Because you pushed him earlier. Yeah. Okay, that's an assault. Wanna be in police record? There's no police record. It's a local record. It'll be fine. We'll sort it out. Nessie now seems to accept the situation. Oh, you're sorry now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I told you, she a good woman, man. She just, you know, she just got a little angry. Look, she's trying to give a hug. Uh, no, you said sorry. You want to plug in with me? No, no, it's okay. I don't want your husband to come and see this. <laughs> yeah. We think, yeah, it'd be very Please. awkward. It's all right, I forgive you. I forgive you, it's no okay. problem. We don't often receive uh, apologies or heartfelt ones, but on the odd occasion we do, and it's quite nice for somebody to recognise that they messed up. I appreciate it. You know, it goes a long way for me. 
Damn. 20 minutes later, Mr. Baker arrives home. He pulled up on a scooter. Morning. Hi, Mr. Baker here. Yes. Okay. I'm a high court enforcement agent. The police are inside the premises. My colleagues inside the premises. Right. We've got a high court rep. Dell secures the keys to Mr. Baker's motorcycle. If no offer of payment is made, it'll be seized to help pay. Uh, they be moving so militant. He pulled up on a the scooter. They immediately distracted him. Got the little keys Off just in case. Three thousand seven hundred pound debt. Three thousand seven hundred. Okay. Location. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. On those my house keys. So Are they? Yeah. So I'll sort that out with you shortly because your house is open, Maria. So don't worry about that. Hello, yeah. Darren. Darren, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm okay. I'm just. You know, I understand. I understand. The problem we've got, Darren, is it's gone to the county court. Okay, a judgment was made against you, right? And they've upgraded it to the high court. Yeah. We are instructed and commanded by the high court yeah. to seize any of your assets if you can't right. pay it. That's where we're at. So there's no way of doing any type of deals with payments. It's gone to the high court. It's gone beyond that now. Because they can still do a deal. If it's anything going to be start taking, like we don't want to do that. Let's get out of our heads. Yeah. Let's, let's not even think about that. Right. Because we're not about that. Right. But we need to we need to get it paid. Right. Yeah. Okay. If you guys want to have a chat or if you want to have a have a think, take take a little time, have a cup of tea, whatever, no problem at all. Right. All right. We'll wait. Okay. It's a bit of a shock, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, just a just bit. a bit. Yeah. You know. All right. They're not bad people. I think they reacted to us in a way which is uncommon. Yes. Yeah, that's the reaction. What more do y'all want? That's the that's the that's gonna be it. No, I'd like to make that clear. You know, it's not uncommon. We have a lot worse than that. A lot worse. Um, but we dealt with it. He's back here and hopefully now we'll resolve him. Right. Brian. My wife's gonna yeah. pay by cards. Right, let me get the card machine, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Happy days. Always the wife gonna pay. How she got money? She had the crib. What she do? I'm just curious. Full payment on card. You can't get me card machine. After originally claiming her husband owed nothing, Nessie is now paying his debt in full. Three, six, three. That's why, man, like, you got to be clear with your girl if you plan to marry her about your debt because when y'all get married, y'all not two separate entities anymore. Y'all are one. Finances are one. Debts are one. All of that is y'all one human being. You need to be clear. So she can make a conscious decision because it matters low key like hey let's work on it first then get married or okay you know what i'm willing to accept your debts and all you feel me 17. thank you let's see shake my hands nice to meet you yep sorry right. about this hey, he, got a, hey, I've had a lot of he got a good girl he got a good woman w wife man uh, everything she did was on par with a W wife. I don't care. Yes. No, right, All sorry, reactions. Sorry, sorry. Well done, Dale. <laughs> I'll go to court, catch a case about you. That I like that energy. <laughs> um, it's not, isn't it nice that they actually they accepted what they did and they, they apologized? And then pay for it. <laughs> we got to pay. It's done. I'm glad we came over. We will go anywhere to you know get a result. So, yeah, it's done. I'm hungry now. She said, I'll catch that fire for you. I do it three, four times again. I touch that fire for you. <laughs> but she got she out here like scissor. That's tough. W. Yeah. She has breakfast. Yeah. You're tense about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Brian and Dell got a result in an emotionally charged situation. But in Stuart and Ian's next mm. case. I'm saying to you, that is not my vehicle. Mm -hmm. That's not Shabina's vehicle. They meet a debtor who won't face up to the truth. Are you, are you Sabina? No. You are, aren't you? I'm not. Oh, they got it. Consumer. The number of county court judgments, or CCJs, issued against consumers. This show is 45 minutes, but it goes by so fast. Like, this is one of the... the like easiest shows for me to watch on any platform. Yeah. Has a risen good time. by nearly forty percent <laughs> in the last three years. Their total value has now reached one and a half billion pounds. Mm. 
Over 4 million of CCJs are issued every day. CCJs get issued every day, B. High Court Enforcement Agent Stuart McCracken and trainee Ian Taylor are in Lancashire to collect a debt of nearly £2,000 <clears> owing to a financial agency. Right, enlighten me, Ian. It's for £1,904.53. The debtor, Shabina, owes money to the agency, who've been chasing a compensation claim on her behalf. Oh, no, it looks more promising than most of the other houses in the house. It does, doesn't it? I got a question for the chat. There's 15 of y'all. I just want to know, like, and for if y'all are listening on YouTube, like, when I talk like this, I know you can hear me. But when the, when the, when the video is playing and I talk, can you hear me clearly? Is it good enough? Because I don't like pausing so much. The last camp pay we take it away, there was 43 minutes. The reaction was an hour and 15 minutes. Right, come on then. Let's go and introduce ourselves. Go make some new friends. So like this, you can hear me fine. Yeah, get a photo of this and car, all mate, things please. of that nature. Stuart immediately spots assets on the driveway that could be seized if Shabina can't or won't pay the debt today. Right there, Stuart, you would have pissed me off. Because who told you to come knock on my door with a melody? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Like, what you making beats on my door for? What are you... Good morning, uh, good afternoon, even. We're High Court Enforcement Agents. Yeah. Okay, we've been sent to execute a High Court writ. We need to speak to Sabina about it. Well, she's not in at the moment. Right, are you able to get her on the phone, oh, please? Okay. So, so you can hear me over the, over the, what's it called, but you don't want to miss nothing. So I'll be, I, I try to talk at moments of silence. If not, then I'll just pause it. <laughs> Do HPI on that, mate, and we'll get it mobilized. While they wait, Ian does a vehicle check. If the cars are free of finance and belong to Shabina, they could be seized even in her absence. 07 plate sh might cover the balance, but unfortunately we can't take the newer one here because it's a mobility car. Hello. Not, she's not picking up. Right, okay. Right. So you need to keep on trying, so like said, we are here to remove goods, including the vehicle that's on the driveway. That? Yeah. That's not mine. Okay. That's not my vehicle, that's somebody else's vehicle. Okay. Well, who are you? Are you I take it you're not Sabina? No. No, okay. Well, you need to try and get her on the phone, because like I said, we will be removing the vehicle. Well, that's not that's not our vehicle. Right. Like, can you move, move it? That's not ours. Right, okay. It's, it's, it's not Sabina's? No. No, have you got any no. documentation for yeah. it? Yeah, brilliant. What are you collecting for, though, anyway? Sorry? What is it for? We'd need to speak to Sabina about it. But what is it about? We, we, we'd need to speak to Sabina about it. It's classified. Can tell by the way that she's coming across. It's not our car. It's not ours. It doesn't belong to us. Why us? Why not them? The Peugeot comes back as clear of finance. 950 quid. Right. That'll do. As it's on the debtor's property, they can seize it unless they're shown proof it's not Shabina's. U307 are being seized. Seeing Ian seize the car, the woman comes straight back out. Hello there. She's at work whose car it is. Right. Right. Okay. She's at work. She doesn't have the... I, I don't know where the logbook or anything is. Right. Like. Okay. Yeah. So you... She's at work whose car it is. So when she went to work, how'd she get to work? You can't take that vehicle. We that can is... We can do. That's what we're doing now. Well, this, it's not even my right. vehicle. How can you take it? Not my vehicle? So who are you, ma'am? Right, well, we need to see some documents. You're Sabina, aren't you? No, I'm not Sabina. You are, you are. Well, we need to get her on the phone. She's a terrible liar. <laughs> we need to try and speak to her, because we will be removing this vehicle. Well, just leave just leave me some paper, but who, who can... Oh, I, 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 I will do, yeah. once we actually speak to her, OK? Or she makes a payment. What, how much payment? Well, I can't tell you, because you said well, that you're not Sabina. How, why, well, how can I tell you if you're not the person I'm after? I suppose I find it quite amusing in a way that people try and lie to the certain extent that He's they think they believe her. it. But maybe that's why they're in this situation and that's the reason why we're at the doorstep because they think they get away with it. I'm saying to you, that is not my vehicle. Mm -hmm. and that's not a Shabina's vehicle. Yeah. So why are you removing... She's the worst liar. Like, it's hard lying. If you're not a liar, just don't be a liar. Just tell the truth. Because if you're an honest person and you get to trying to lie, it's still, this is what this is what you get. Right? I'm saying to you, that is not my vehicle. Mm -hmm. That's not Shabina's vehicle. 
right there. That's the type of <laughs> that's what that's the energy you give off. Just tell the truth. Yeah. So why are you removing uh, it? Are you, are you Sabina? No. You are, aren't you? I'm not. Why? Have you got any ID for yourself? No. Are you Sabina? No, I'm not Sabina. No. 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 Well, I'll show you my ID. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not instructed by the highest court in the land to execute a High Court writ of control. Again, I've asked to see some ID for yourself. So you don't have any ID on you? No. No debit cards, no passport, no driver's license either. That's her. No, you've got nothing. No. No letters, that, nothing. Oh, well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not leaving anything at the moment because yeah. we're here to execute a writ. So if I'll be removing the not... vehicle. The woman is adamant she's not the debtor, Shabina. Another family member steps in. That's my well, property. well, what'll happen is if it'll I get removed. Show, if I can show you something to say that it's not heard, mm -hmm. and we it's need to see us. I can ring her now and yeah. try and get her to send me something because she just recently bought it. Mm -hmm. I think she'd be a bit upset if you took mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. so, well, it's stored for seven days anyway. Well, so. if I could show you something to no, say that I'm it's... not going to I ain't going to lie, this lady looked like she kind of thick. The way her hips swung up out that door, it, it signifies to me that, hey, I might have something back there. Respectfully. She's not going to pay storage charges, is she? Well, if I could show you something to no, say that, I'm not going to pay storage. She's not going to pay storage. <laughs> she still. This is the literally the worst liar that I've ever seen. She said so. No, because I'm not going to pay storage. I mean, she's not going to. Just come outside. Storage charges, is she? She, she will be. Yeah, I need some proof. Right, can you just I've, I've, I've got believable, real doubt that I'm speaking to the defendant. If you don't want to confirm your identity, that's fine. We need to get this sorted no, one way or another. Okay, we're simply here to, to collect a balance. That's all we're here to do. Okay. But then the woman lets her guard down and accidentally reveals her identity. I've, I've spoken to them, said to them I will pay in instalments. Okay, but at the moment they've, they've declined that, you see. We're here to collect a balance of £1,904. So unless that is collected, we will be removing the goods, I'm afraid. So I'll give you half an hour to see what you can do, and then we'll arrange recovery. So you told you it was her. People think I've got mug written on my bloody forehead. With Shabina finally admitting debt, Stuart needs to get the case resolved. Shabina hasn't shown any proof that the car doesn't belong to her. Take so the if car, no payment Stuart. is made soon, it'll be removed. Hello there. Where are we up to with regards to payments? I can't make that full of payment. Today. Right, right. What will you accept and then I will set up a payment plan? It's, it needs to be paid in full. I'll pay something, but don't take that vehicle away. My daughter will kill me. Right, so how much can you pay then? How much do you want me to pay? Well, it needs to be at least 50% of the balance. 50%? Yeah, so it needs to be a third. Well, no, the 50% of the balance is £1,904, so it'll be £1,000. Mm. The maximum I can pay you is about £200. Yeah, no, it's not going to be enough. Ian, can you call recovery, mate, please? If we if if we do a call recovery, it goes up to £2,500. No, don't call pounds. recovery. If she provides you with a receipt or something, she tells you it's her vehicle, mm -hmm. then what? Then after that, we'll have to take control of goods inside the property. I haven't got anything in the property. Right. What do you want to take? Well, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet, and hopefully I won't. We need to try and raise some funds. I haven't got any money. What I'm saying is, I've got. I can pay you two hundred pounds, and then make an arrangement. No, it's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. But I'll, then I'll pay you regularly every week. It's, it's not going to be enough. You got fifteen minutes to see what you can do, and then we'll take our action from there. Waiting game, eh, Ian. Ian tired. Hopefully, she'll come back out now, Ian, and say, Stuart, sorry for messing you about. Here's my debit card. I just wanted to say how far we could push you. Um, uh, do you take like, Visa debit? And I'll be like, yes, yes we do. After 10 minutes, Shabina reappears. Hello there. Right, don't call the recovery because I'm not paying for him. Right. right. Someone's coming. Right, someone's coming now. Yeah. Right, with £1,904. Oh, £1,000, you said 50% at least. It's Can right up. Okay. okay. She's steady closing that door. Minutes later, a friend arrives with the cash. Hello there. I believe you're the knight in shining armour. Friends of Yeah. yeah. <sighs> is, it, is it a thousand there? That's is it? A thousand. Okay. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 40. Oh, what are you? Can we get that 200 you said you had to? With the car under a controlled goods agreement. Shabina now has 30 days to try and pay the remainder of the debt or set up a payment plan. Worst liar. If she doesn't, 
the agents will be back. Any issues, give me a ring. All right. Take it easy anyway. All right, see you later. I don't think it's a bad result, to be completely honest with you. It shows intent at the very least. I just wish he wouldn't lie to us. Some people do the best to try and hide their identity from high court enforcement agents because they're scared of the consequences. But if you're just straight with us, we'll be straight with you. It's as simple as that. Right. Recent research reveals that UK business... You know how hard it is to, <laughs> to keep up a lie? ...this growth has fallen to its lowest level for three it. years. Nearly one in five businesses show signs of distress, with decreased sales and profits being the main causes. Business debt has risen 25% in the last five years. OK. Isleworth, Greater London. Father and son team Delroy and Dale Anglin are on their way to collect a debt of almost three and a half thousand pounds. All right, Dale, what have we got? Mr. Nelson. Jonathan Penn, and we are looking Not for bad. three thousand three hundred thirty-five seventy-nine. The debtor, Jonathan Penn, is the owner of a company called Sourcing Group Limited. Let's have a look at the company, see if we can find anything. As the agents don't know anything about the company, Dale does some research. I mean, this day and age, before we go to a, any job, I try and do a little search on the internet quick. You can build up a whole background on a defendant before you've even got to him. The Sourcing Group Limited. Could be anything, couldn't it? But his name on here is uh, Sir Jonathan Penn. Sir? Instead of Jonathan Penn. Sir, OK. That's not the same name, legally. Let's have a little search on Sir Jonathan Penn. All right, we get in here. Oh, that's nice. Opens automatically on the page. Like, if you get a bill and the name is misspelled, I'm not paying it because that's not my name. If if any debt collector come to me and in the, in the debt and the bill, it, my name is not spelled correctly on that bill, I promise you, I'm not paying it. That's not. I'm sorry. That's not me. No, that's not me. <laughs> it's simple. Oh, yeah, he's got enough companies. He's had 154 directorships. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. This isn't the first time High Court enforcement agents have tried to recover the debt. The one up here, the corner one with a padlock on it. It's a nice house or a nice but little this area. This is Dallin Dale's first visit. And this job is going to be anything but straightforward. Like when they say that. <laughs> no one seems to be in. A neighbour has informed them that Mr. Penn has gone out in his smart car. Um, we've gleaned some information that the data we're looking for is due back at some point, quite soon. If he turns up in that smart car and he unlocks the gates, I'm going to wait for him to actually physically start driving towards it and get in there behind him. Mr. Penn's car may be an asset the agents can <laughs> so you for ambush him? ...and seize, but there could be a problem. The neighbour's here and put what he considers to be false number plates on. Let's block it in, right, and then we can do our inquiries when we're in there. Driving on a public highway with a number plate not registered to your vehicle is an offence. Uh -huh. My view simply is, we're not police, we're here to do a specific job. But we can report, or we're under an obligation to report our findings to the police. And tell so it. Yeah, you better be smooth, my boy. If you got anything crazy going on, you just better be smooth. If they have any use for it. Well, let's take him out for a while. Yeah. Dell and Dale wait for Mr. Penn to return. He's worth devoting a bit of time to. Because if we can get him, it's not that it's, it's the fact that... Well, he won't necessarily pay, but... Well, I just tend to be positive. I like to think positive. Once we're in a realist, I can't see it happening. He's going to see us when he unlocks the padlock. Then fine, we we'll deal with that. But what you need to do is get out quickly. No, so what y'all do is when he unlocks the padlock and when he get back in his car, that's when you pull up. Because it's going to take some time. If y'all pull up while he unlocking it, he just lock it back. I'll just drive the van up. The, the important thing is to get far on the away. 
Once we're on his premises, we're all powerful, aren't we? I mean, being patient in this game and sometimes just waiting out and sitting at someone's house, um, it, can, it can be a bit boring, but it'll save you having to re-attend someone's house two or three times if you, it means you can get it resolved there and then, Thanks. which is ultimately what everyone wants, us and the client. After 20 minutes, it looks like their wait the might smart be car. over. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. He's seen look down, look down, look down. As Mr. Penn has evaded enforcement action twice already, will Dale and Dell be able to get the three and a half thousand pounds they came for? Father and son we don't need a recap, sorry. at home. The important thing. Penn has arrived back. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. He's seen look down, look down, look down. But instead of turning into his driveway, the defendant drives straight past his house. The neighbor let him know. Yeah, they've seen us already. Yeah. They don't matter. Don't react to him. He's clever because what that is is anti surveillance. He lives there. He does a quick drive around the block to see what vehicle that are fresh. He might drive straight back out. Just don't give him an eyeball. He probably thinks he's swerveless. But then a man is seen approaching the property. He's just going to walk. Team. That's it. He's not going to the house. He's going to go to the house. Just be positive. Come on, let's go. Go on. Go on. Go over there. Over there, Dal. Run! Hello? Mr. Jonathan Penn? Yes. My name's Dale Angle. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. OK. Uh, but High Court wrote against yourself. Okay. Seeing the sum of £3,335.79p, are you able to clear that balance today? I'm, I'm probably by the end of today, yeah, if you could uh, give me till the end of today. Can you try and make some calls now, see if we can get sorted? And... Well, I can't do it straight away, I'm afraid. Why? Well, well, I just can't, but I mean, I can do it. I can do it by, uh, certainly the end of the week, by tomorrow. Can't we do it today, sir? If you can do it tomorrow, you can do it today. Well, I can't. Well, we've, we, we've been here twice already and left a couple of letters and you haven't called us back. Yeah, I've um, absolutely no letters from you. Right. Can you give me until tomorrow? Then I'll, I'll... So we can give you time now. If you want to make some calls. You go and have a cup of tea if you want, chill out and make a few calls. And then we can be out of your hair. We've paid us some out, we're gone. Well, I, I, I don't think they can, to be honest. I don't want to waste your time, no, so I don't, don't want to waste ours. Do you know what I mean? Doing a job, so... If you could do what you can, sir, because I, I just want to go, you know, do what we've got to do and leave. Mm -hmm. Don't know. I think his age goes in his favour, he gets a bit shaky, doesn't he? Well, he's very shaky, but... Yeah, but he doesn't like getting caught, obviously. Well, the thing is, we haven't alerted him to the fact we know we're that, that car yet. The cars are racing the hole at the moment. Well, depending on the number plate that's on it. Dell and Dale find Mr Penn's car parked around the corner outside a neighbour's house. It's an asset that could be seized if Mr Penn doesn't pay. But there's a problem. He's clearly got... He's clued up. He's, clued up. he's, not, he's not a stupid man. We're on private property here. That vehicle's been put on someone else's drive. So if we were here to remove that vehicle, under the, we couldn't take it from there. We yeah. could only remove it from his drive on his property. So he's got some knowledge of what we can do and what we can't do. Call the police. It's on false plates. <laughs> to let's, further let's, let's get negative. complicate matters, if the car has false plates, as the neighbour alleges, the agents won't be able to complete an accurate vehicle check on it. I just need to do a HBI check on our vehicle, mate. Get far away, mate. Um, Sierra Mike Tango 1. Sierra Mike Tango. That sound fakes. SMTI. Sierra Mike Tango SMT1. Go one. It's a clear finance, mate. It's a 2012 plate uh, BMW M5. That's registered to the BMW, is it? Well, that's interesting. We got told that it's um, he's um, using fake number plates. Um, obviously, we weren't sure. It's actually on a, a blue smart car. Right. So we have black BMW. The plate is false. Now the agents don't know if the smart car belongs to Mr. Penn or if it's free of finance. No, sir. I can't raise. Uh, so what I'm going to suggest I do yeah. is give you my smart car, right? Um, which is a blue one, right? Um, which is worth probably four and a half grand. Five grand. Right, fair enough. A different number plate that's on it though, yeah. We have. I advertised it that they would just put some silly plates in. If you just pull them off. 
in possession of the logbook with the real registration number. Dale checks if the car. Huh. This was not as bad as I thought this transaction. As a match. Right, Dale, that is coming back as a smart car, maybe, yeah? Yeah. Clear of finance. Uh, you're looking at uh, 3,200 quid, mate. If they sell oh, do it. the car at auction, it should almost cover the debt. The value on it, they're saying, is 3,200. Can you take that for security then and see if I can raise it? The rest, like, you should take it. I mean, you take it, and obviously, if you clear the balance, you can have the. Yeah. Well, how about y'all put the little piece of paper on it that's rid of a possession, and then y'all come back and see what's happening? Yeah. That was a surprising move from you. you. You must have known we knew he had that car. I'm not being silly. He's not a silly man. Paranoid, uh, right? And um, he's was the cell phones not invented back here? His neighbor probably called like, "Yeah, bro, the jig is up. They stay outside." with the car information. offered us here because he wants us gone. The last thing he wants is us hanging about. Yeah. In this affluent neighbourhood. This is a nice Because neighbor. Mr Penn has now given the agents authority to remove the car, Dell and Dale are legally entitled to take it <coughs> from the neighbour's drive. It's a nice car. Yeah, look, it's just stuck on, like you said. Recovery arrives... And they really snatched it. ...to That's remove funny. the smart car. <laughs> I've never seen this type of tow truck until like the second season of this show. They did it with like a nice like like a supercar. This yeah, is insane right here. Strapping some straps to somebody's car. I could probably lift this car with my right hand though, low key above my head like this and walk it. Heaviest car in the world. Well, it's nice. It's concluded. Oh. So, uh, it's particularly nice because he's had a number of visits, a number of letters. Yeah, the McLaren, yeah. Not responded. Um, it's just about perseverance, really, with, you know, with timing. The car sold at auction for today. Rip was thrown out. That's tough. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.